Declaring the event open, the First Lady of Edo State, Mrs. Betsy Yopasaki, represented by Chati Anaku, said the theme for the Lapo Institute's fourth conference on microfinance and enterprise development, which is indigenous technology and value chain development, is apt. She advised residents of Edo State to creatively look in the direction of value chain development, particularly in the area of agriculture, so as to boost domestic production. Technology and innovation is not an alien concept to Nigeria and to Edo State. Rather, everywhere we go, we see the effects of innovation and creativity in Nigeria. The chairman governing council, Lapo Institute, Dr. Gadwin E. Yamusoy, said the conference and its theme create an avenue to critically review the present state of indigenous technology capacities approach to innovation in the country, its challenges and how it can be promoted. This conference is our modest attempt in addressing this practical challenge by encouraging brainstorming among scholars, policy makers, and decision makers in the economy as well as promoting local and indigenous technology within the value chain development in Nigeria. On his part, Chairman on the occasion, Professor Mike Obadon, pointed out that the indigenous technology is designed and fabricated based on culture, traditions, and meeting the needs of the people. He emphasized the need for local technologies to be improved upon and standardized through development of science and modern technology to enable the products measure up to international standard. The Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emethili, represented by the Deputy Director, CBN, Dr. Frank Amagwas, said the theme of the conference lines with two mandates of the Central Bank of Nigeria, which include ensuring price stability and managing the foreign reserves to maintain the international value of the Naira. Indigenous technology, through meaningful interactions, seeks to evoke significant knowledge and experiences reflective of the indigenous world. The relation import of machinery and finished products has a positive effect on the foreign reserves. The conference featured paper presentations on local technology and innovation, the role of microfinance in indigenous technology and value chain development, indigenous technology and industrial development by professionals in various fields. The chairman, governing council, Dr. Gardone Gamusoy, and representative of the First Lady of Edo State presented thesis support grants to beneficiaries. The conference later dovetailed into an interactive session between participants and panelists. Adesuwa Latu reporting.